hi thanks for stopping by this is Teresa from Sammy Dolls. in this little video series I want to show you all the basic sewing techniques you need to follow all of my patterns confidently and joyfully I simply like creating things and sewing so much and I hope to inspire you to get started with sewing or to get that sewing machine out back from the attic or out of the cupboard or wherever you're hiding it all the videos in this little series are going to be linked down below in the video description and now let's get started in this video we're going to have a look at how to attach bias tape to a straight or a curved fabric edge. So I'm taking my strip of bias tape and I'm opening it up on one side, one of the folds, and then I'm going to sew it inside the crease here to my fabric. So I'm aligning my fabric edge with my bias tape edge. And then I'm stitching in the crease which makes it really easy to make a straight seam. And be careful not to pull the bias tape because the bias tape is a bit elastic and if you're pulling it then you're going to gather the fabric and we don't want that. And once it's all stitched to the fabric inside the crease, as you can see here, we can fold over the bias tape to the other side and pin or clip it in place. Don't clip it. I mean, I mean those clips. Don't cut anything. <laughs> I'm just using my little wonder clips here that I discovered a while ago. Now I can turn it all around and then we're going to sew next to the bias tape, but not on the bias tape, very close to the bias tape, to make sure that we pick up the bias tape that is folded over to the other side. And there we can see the seam and on the back, we sewed on the bias tape in the back as well and that's what we want. Now let's have a look at how to sew the bias tape to a curved fabric edge. We're doing the exact same thing and because the bias tape is a little bit elastic we can sew it to curved edges as well. You can see it's a bit elastic so we can just mold it around the edge here and sew it in place. Inside the crease again and this time I'm just sewing a little bit slower because I want to make sure that I pull it around the curve but do not pull on the bias tape. I think I've been pulling a little bit on the bias tape here so we can see that the fabric is gathering a little bit. Sometimes it's nice to show how not to do things, right? <laughs> and now I just fold over the bias tape to the other, other side. And hold it in place with the clips here. And then I'm going to stitch it to the fabric the same way as I did before. So I'm just sewing really close to the bias tape but not on it, along the edge. Making sure I'm picking up the bias tape in the back as well. And here we have it. As you can see the fabric is a little bit gathered in the curve there so that shouldn't have happened I shouldn't have pulled the bias tape do not do what I d just did so I'm going to do it a little bit better on my next curved edge which is going to be curved the other way around so again I'm folding open my bias tape and stitch it to the fabric edge inside the crease and this time I'm not going to pull the bias tape. 
Just going to be really careful to move it to the edge every time I take a little break, but not to pull it. And now we can fold it over to the other side and pin it or hold it in place with a clip again. And then we are sewing it down along the edge again, not on the bias tape, but just along the edge. Making sure to pick up the bias tape on the back of the fabric as well. And there we can see, this time I did not pull on the fabric, which is really nice. <laughs> and it all picked it up in the back as well. And this is how you do bias tape to a curved edge. And here again, in comparison, the one with the edge that is curved the other way around, it did gather a little bit, did pucker up a little bit under here. Because I pulled the bias tape, silly me. I hope you found this little video helpful. And in the next video, we're having a look at how to use a twin needle. And I hope I see you in that video again as well. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked the video and it was useful to you. Please give it a like if you like, subscribe for more videos, leave a comment with feedback and video requests. And if you like, head on over to Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. I'd love to connect with you over there. See you next time. Bye.